Welcome back. My name is Nicole BW and this is a Green's Guest 2. Ha ha. So I've worked on Thumbcraft a little bit, just a little bit. I worked on bees as well, trying to get uh, some of that stuff done. I've almost got enough string to finish off the suit and uh, hopefully, because I really need that suit. <laughs> so over here, I have a couple sinister nodes and I decided to move them off over there and kind of even this out, make it look a little more uh, symmetrical. And so, yeah, because every once in a while these guys spawn in, they're kind of like black ghost type guys and they shoot these black balls <laughs> at me and wither me and it's kind of a pain in the butt to be honest and I don't know if that's because of the sinister notes or because of all the research I've been doing I'm not sure so um here we I've went ahead and moved the jars I also added a thomium golem to the furnace and put the uh, alchemical core in him so that way he takes uh, all the elements and puts them in the jar and I used the bell if you get the bell the golem answers bell and uh, when you click on him this is what it looks like I went ahead and clicked on every single jar I don't know if you need to do that or not uh, but I went ahead and did that anyway because it kind of looks cool <laughs> I like that so he's attached to the furnace and then so you need to have him attached to the input or the output I don't know the, the machine or item he's attached to and then uh, yeah depending on what core you have I guess in him so there we go and I kind of arranged these so that they're all uh, the same ones are next to each other that way I know at a glance how much I have of one thing so like the brain things I've got four jars of those and four jars of that I, I don't need that much but I have that much so yeah um this is the setup I'm going for until I can get the ME system uh, the thumb craft ME system up and running I'm gonna need to have my son help me with that because I don't know uh, what things are called easily like I can look up things but I'm not sure like I don't know these mods inside and out enough to know what each thing does but I do have enough stuff that I am ready to do some more of these challenges so I thought we would start with a wand charger so or a wand recharging pedestal so I have it here and it's going to be an infusion crafting. Once you have it, the stuff unlocked in the Thaumonomicon, uh, there is a mod that is, what is it, Thaumcraft to NEI mod or something like that. Once you have it unlocked in the Thaumonomicon, you can look up the recipes in NEI, which I think is a major plus uh, because I love NEI. NEI is my best friend. So... We are going to need an arcane pedestal, a couple diamonds, gold block, and a primal charm, plus uh, 15 of each of these things uh, already smelted. So we already, I already have all of that smelted up. Yes, I do. I double checked and triple checked. Uh, but now we need a primal charm. So the primal charm is, let's see, air, fire, water. Okay. And let's see if I can remember this. It goes in the middle. Air, fire, water, earth, white, and then black. Yay! Uh, let's go ahead and put this on. I was getting attacked a lot, so the damage is really low. Is there a repair thing? I don't know if there's a repair thing. Uh, but I would like it if there was. So there's that. Uh, hopefully we won't lose anything in the process because I don't have extras, which is probably a really bad thing. 
Yeah, I probably should have extras. At least extra for the gold and the diamonds. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab a couple more diamonds. The primal charm will uh, will take a chance on that. Yeah. So we need the primal charm on one side, diamond, diamond, and gold. And then we need the pedestal in the center. And then we need the wand. Oh, I already have it in my hand. Uh, and click. So it's going to take all of the stuff. Let's see if the flowers actually help. This is the first time I'm infusing anything since I put the flowers and the crystals down. So far, looking good, looking good, looking good. Yay. Awesome. That went very well. I'm very happy about that. So we're going to put this here. Yay. And then we can put that in there and it will charge up our wand off of the nodes that are nearby. Pretty neat, pretty neat and nifty indeed. So the next thing we're going to do. Oh, did I have that in my, okay, good. Uh, let's take the hearty breakfast because we don't need the hearts. Yay, that's another one down. All right, this is awesome. Okay, so we're going to make the arcane levitator. Do we just need one? We need three of them. Oh, I didn't notice that. Uh, we are going to need our wand back. Uh, so the hearty breakfast we'll just put in our bag. Save it for later. Uh, so we are going to need more stuff. Okay, we're going to need three of these. We're going to need uh, a couple more of those. We're going to need some more iron. Uh six of those and we're going to need a couple more of those and a couple more of those. Okay. So the arcane levitator is this and we're going to need air and Terra out of our wand. So how did we do this? This, this, this is it. Did I get too many? Uh... No, I think that should be right, right? Nope. Had it upside down. Okay. So we're going to make three of those arcane levitators. These are kind of neat. Uh, let me turn it in. Because, yay, they will levitate you up. They're like elevators, but going up. And then you can just go off to the side. So that's kind of neat. And I'll probably use these instead of my ladder over here. Uh, maybe we'll find a way to go up and down like here. No. I don't know. Well, I'll figure that out. I'm going to use these for sure. Let's see. Where would be a good place to put them? Hmm, I kind of want to put them over here. Maybe I, I would have to extend this out, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that thing on this, this thing, that, the scholar's lens. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> it's shift V to get rid of it and V to put it back on. I went into the deep dark and flew around. I took two stacks of sticks and two stacks of coal. Oh no, I forgot to light it up. And I normally play with F7 on and I 
am not playing with F7 on. Uh, so I took two stacks of sticks and two stacks of coal and it flew around. So that makes eight uh, stacks of torches flew around in the deep dark and scanned as many nodes as possible. So I got more elements for my table. Just scanned all of them. And I noticed I didn't even scan all of these either. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I moved them, but I forgot to scan them all. See, there's a guy. There's the guy right there. You see him? He just spawned. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's going to get me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got him this time. He spawned, like, right over here. Is there something that I have, or is it just the flux stuff? Is that why? Is it because I have so many nodes? I don't think there's anything abnormal about these nodes over here. I don't know what it is. But he spawns, like, every 15 minutes. It's really kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. But we are going to make, let's see, we want to make one of these, a flux scrubber. So let's look at the flux scrubber here. And this is in the crafting. So we're going to need an arcane bellows, a V filter essential tube, and the bellows is just leather, air, iron, and wood. Okay, so we got wood, air, iron, and we need leather. What do we just need? We just need one. Okay, so we need the bellows, which is that. Was it like that? Or was the iron in the center? The iron was not in the center. <laughs> okay. So there's the bellows. And then we need... Oh, do I have a V filter? Oh, I do. Yay. I made a bunch of them. Uh, and then we need a sentry tube. It's directional, restricted. There's just an essential tube. And what was the rest? Iron bars. Do we have iron bars over here? I don't think we have iron bars over here. Um... Let's see, was it that, and then that, and then just the iron bars. Okay, we can make some iron bars. We got lots of iron. Okay, let's put that stuff away. Put those away in there as well. And put these in there, and there we go. We now have a flux scrubber. Uh, we can put this great we'll put it right there uh so this flux scrubber if there's any flux that comes out of your uh cauldron if you don't have a setup like this you can use the flux scrubber to get rid of any of the goo that comes out which is kind of neat and now we have a flux goo floor uh, I also want to do the bath time. Hopefully we have the stuff for it. I think I looked at it, but I didn't uh, see bath. We have bath salts. We have, uh, what were those called? The arcane spa purifying bath salts and sanitizing soap. Okay, so we have the spa uh bath and soap okay so the sanitizing soap we're gonna need tallow blocks which is rotten flesh with some magic uh let's see the arcane spa we can do, we need a jar of pistons, some stone. We've, I think we've got all that stuff. And um, let's see that. 
uh, where's the jar? We've got stone. We've got a couple quartz blocks. Do we have a piston? I don't think we have a piston. Uh, we do have a jar in here somewhere. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go make... I think we have the stuff to make it. Iron and cobble. So there's a piston. So we have... How do we make that? Piston, jar, that, you know, like that. So there is our arcane spa. We're going to need bath salts, which is Salus Mundus, with some of that stuff. And, okay, so we need tallow, which is run flesh and magic. Okay. Let's put that stuff away for right now. Okay, rotten flesh and stuff with magic in it. That has magic and it has fire. How many? Two. So we're gonna need, what, nine? Okay. Nine of that and then, I guess we don't need it right there. And then, Rotten flesh. We need nine rotten flesh. Okay. And then I'm going to want my wand. We'll just grab it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we have... Uh, let's see. Drop one in. We didn't need all of it like that. That's okay. Not a big deal. Oh. Oh, because it's oh duh. I need to take that off. It, the scholars thing is really throwing me off. Okay, so we have the tallow. I should probably scan it, which means I need to put that back on. <laughs> I'm trying to scan everything. <sighs> Turn the magnet mode off, man. There we go. All right, magnet mode back on. Okay, so that is, okay, there's our tallow block. So we need alienus. Cognito, Ordo, and Sano. Okay. So, Alienus, I think, comes from Ender Pearls, right? I even look. Yes. Uh, and we can get the healing thing from Potions of Healing. Um, and what else did we need? Ordo and Cognito. I have no idea where we get those. But there's a place in the Thaumonomicon where we can look. And in basic information, there's this thing, Aspects of Magic. We can click on that and go through. And we can look for what we need. So Cognito and we cursor over that and it will tell us everything that has cognito in it and zombie brains have four cognito per brain so let's grab some zombie brains and then what else did we need um the what did we need 
I don't even remember now. Uh, let's see. Ordo. That's right. Ordo. Um, Ordo. Our, our roadblocks have them. Uh, so let's do that. We've got some roadblocks. All right. We've got 14 of them. Hopefully that's enough. So we are going to need, how many are we going to need? 16 of each. Oh my. Okay, six, six. Okay, I'm going to have to throw all three of these things in there. We need four of these. Okay, we need two more of these. <laughs> oh no. And then we need uh, four of these. Okay, so we're going to need something with more ordo than that. Uh, so what... What had more ordo in it? Uh, what are those blocks of... What is that a block of? Aluminum? Oh, please let it be aluminum. Let's go check. Uh, it's blocks of steel. I only have seven blocks of steel. What else had it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, let's see. We have... Really? There's really, like, nothing that has a lot in it that I have a lot of. All right. I guess we'll do... We would need, what, three blocks of steel? <laughs> okay. Wow. This is going to have a lot of extra stuff in it. Okay. We can't use those. All right. And then it was one block of tallow. And that was all crucible stuff, right? Yeah. Crucible crafting. All right. Okay, this is a lot. I've never done this much crucible stuff. Okay, so we need, okay, hopefully I can do this. No! No! Oh, can I scan the goo? No, I can't scan the goo. Oh my gosh. Overflow of all kinds of crap. Look at that. That's not good. Oh. Uh, all that wasted. So I'm going to have to do that again. And I'm going to have to find stuff that doesn't have a whole lot of extra things in it, I think. I don't know. That one's kind of bad. I'm going to have to do that one off camera. And the same with that. <sighs> I only need one of each. So that's good. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. And I hope you learned a little something about how bad I am in Thumbcraft. <laughs> I'm not good at all and uh yeah so i'm learning and i'm trying and uh hopefully with the with the ae the thumbcraft ae system it's a lot easier than the crucible uh one so maybe i should work with him to get that set up first yeah I should probably do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to be notified of when I do new videos, I usually put them out Monday through Friday. And uh, sometimes on the weekends, if I get inspired. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave me any comments, suggestions, tips, tricks, or if you just want to say hello. And I'll say hello back. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.